issue I was having at the end of the day yesterday for it not wanting to start and my remote, my push button not working was my neutral safety was unplugged. So, with it being in gear, it was wanting to not start even with the clutch pulled in because it wasn't sensing. And now, now we're good. I wonder if... Hmm. Yep. See? We have nothing. Nothing. This is what we were dealing with at the trail. And sometimes, it's the absolute simplest of solutions. Well, now it's not wanting to start. That's odd. Probably because it's only like 28 degrees or something like that right now. And it's been rained on all day. Oh, and it snowed on. So, simple things. Check check the minor things. But when you're out on the trail and you're losing your damn mind because things are not starting and you're in a hurry and in a rush to get off the trail. Yeah, my, everything else is working. Everything else is working, so the only thing that stopped working yesterday was the starter button, and we found the solution to the starter button. So that's simple, already solved. I thought I'd cut one of these, but no, I didn't cut one of those. So that's good. We do need to change the oil. We didn't really suffer any other damage except for once again, I bent the damn brake pedal. I don't know where we can find a stronger brake pedal for these, but might just get it welded or something. Like right, there. you just get a piece of metal welded right there. But otherwise, the bike did not suffer any actual damage yesterday, except for maybe that crack there it looks kind of new. But there's really no telling. <sighs> so, it's the first time I'm actually looking at it since I got loaded up and brought back home yesterday. I did notice that we scraped it up pretty good right here. It took a pretty good solid hit right there. And these are always bent. I should probably, these are always bent here. Should probably sharpen those up because those are bent pretty good. So, that, that was the last trail ride for the year. We'll be back at it next year with a new chain because that one lasted. Everybody, a lot of people like to change it out right away, but I've got what do I even have on that? Eleven hundred and forty miles on it. So with eleven hundred and forty miles on it, and Nothing major really broken. I can't really complain. And with 140 miles on it and still on the stock chain, stock tires, stock wheels, stock brakes. I did replace the Tusk shifter, but there was nothing wrong with the shi the original shifter. I did replace the the brake pedal. That that I did bend. Um worse than it is now. That's a lot more usable than it was. So there's that. Um, handlebars are replaced. Replace the handlebars. And uh, the mirrors. I'm constantly shattering mirrors. But that's going to happen no matter what. Uh, we cracked this. We cracked that. Uh, we did bust one of the um, side covers. Which that wasn't from beating on it. I slammed it into a van and broke it. Uh, we've broken off several different brake light turn signal you know toward the seat uh, I think that's oh yeah I think I covered the brake lever and clutch lever but brake lever clutch lever replaced so those two things handlebars 
Uh, we are going to raise those. Uh, whatever I had going on here, I was going to have a camera there. But luckily I didn't. So that's broke. Phone mount is attached. It didn't get broke. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's all I've broken. I had a trunk on there. Broke that. It's not stock, so I don't really count very much. Um, don't know what's up with the zip ties down there. But um, the chain thing here, the chain guide, that's just kind of electrical taped on there. So not ideal. Uh, I think that's it. Overall, it has held up. It's been on single tracks. So three different single tracks now. Um, it's been up and through the woods. Uh, it's been jumped. It's been wheelied. It's been redlined out. It's been dropped. And <laughs> it's been thrown onto a trailer. Been thrown off of a trailer. Um, I have just definitely not been gentle on this thing at all. I have not been kind to it in any way and uh, it's it's held up so far so i really cannot have too many complaints i'm absolutely satisfied with the purchase i have no regrets on buying it i do want to upgrade it i didn't know that i would want to upgrade it but i do for reasons i think it's perfectly capable for a beginner rider for somebody who's in town and everything like that but um if you live 40 miles from work, it's going to take you a little while. And you're going to get... I mean, and I have a blast out on back roads and stuff. I can't really um, ride too much to and from work because I only have a permit. And I'm not allowed to ride at night. And I, of course, would never do that. So, mm, the other thing that I have replaced was these. I did put uh, grade 8 bolts. And instead of them going in the other way where the nuts are on the inside, I took that off. With the nuts coming in you know the bolts coming out this way i had to grind off one of the rounded ends just grind it flat to where there's a tab in there drop it on there tighten it down they haven't come loose even a little bit so but i will over the winter once i get it put up here i'm going to you know again upgrade the uh, the chain i'm going to tighten all the bolts i'll probably replace that thing but that screw there won't come out i don't know if it's supposed to or not but it won't uh i'll look into like the fork like the neck um size so that we can try to figure out what kind of forks we can put on these and swap out the tires so chain tires the bar risers which i already have um i think i'm gonna leave the turn signals they're big and ugly but they haven't broke yet up there except for the one that was um I broke that off when I, you know, putting it on a trailer. So I took the back one and put it up there. And then I put these little ones back here on the back. And I think they tuck in real nice. Obviously, they're not invincible either. That one's just kind of electrical taped on there. So these will be coming back off and getting replaced. Same thing here. I like those I will I'm working on I have um, Amazon affiliates and I will be working on doing an affiliate link on everything that I have on here uh, if people do follow my link and I start bringing in revenue off of the Amazon link I'll start adding to the bikes I'll start um, I'll get the KPX and start on that and people who click the link they're going to just do the shopping that they're going to do anyway and then i would get a commission it's not much at all really it's just a little tiny commission and uh um i actually have on my phone when i do order something from amazon i've got several different links from youtubers that i watch and i just click one of their links every time i order something from amazon so everything i'm going to order anyway they get a co uh, commission of it i just pick a random one because i've got several of them that i do help out in that way, it's 
small it's easy it doesn't cost me anything extra and it doesn't cost me any time out of my day to go to amazon from a different source so this was supposed to just be a i figured out why my starter button isn't working but i guess it's kind of turned into a rundown of the bike i've been meaning to do a thousand mile review which i should probably do a more extensive version of that but just a quick basic overview yes it has its issues yes it sits way too low so i'm constantly banging these pegs now you can see that one's all mangled and beat up ah uh, spaghetti forks up front they're super thin they're super mm, they're super soft and I, I do need to change out the fork oil it's the other thing this year i want to see what kind of difference it makes i think it's going to be like a whole new bike next year i'm still deciding on the um, sprockets it will wheelie i cannot wheelie it can wheelie somebody who's better riding could wheelie it i'm sure without issue but with a, a higher sprocket in the back it would do a lot better but again i want to be able to do like 65 you know 60 65 on it and it's just really not that capable of it i've learned a lot on it i've come a ways on it i guess i can't really say i've come a long way because i really don't know I have actually gotten out with a good, skilled, experienced rider. Uh, I had one in a truck as we left work. Um, he was watching me and he said I'd come a long way, but I mean, he just seen me for maybe a tenth of a mile <laughs> going through ditches and jumping out of ditches and stuff like that. But uh, I think I've come a ways at least. I know I've come a ways from zero miles of experience and barely being able to get it going down the road. I couldn't even get it started without killing it. I killed this thing probably 50 times in the first 10 minutes. And now I, I don't kill it as often. I do still kill it. I do still need to learn clutch control. I do need to figure out the uh, clutch lever. Figure out a little bit better of a clutch lever. This one's fine if you're, you're just going to do mostly... Uh, street riding these these levers are, are perfectly fine um, they've taken several 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 hits into the dirt uh, i did bend this out on the uh, last ride so <laughs> it's time for that to get replaced i'll probably look for um a different style maybe i'll just go with another set of these because for the price i have no complaints about how well they've lasted and my only complaint, I not even a complaint, the only thing to take note of on this is it took forever for me to bleed. And my mirror, these mirrors at least, and my kickstand makes this thing like, it's almost completely upright. But I cannot really thread in another mirror. So maybe I'll get a riser. For that or something i don't really know what the solution to that is but i'll look into other brake levers but again once i start filling figuring out the affiliate links i think i might have stripped this thing out on that last right maybe i can't really say too much about i guess i mean it has been off on off on off on off on many 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 times this is about the fifth mirror i've put on here so it's a little cross threaded and a little stripped out. It's not really too much the fault of that. I'll get it tightened down later or whatever. So I don't not recommend these. Um, if you can afford something better, there is definitely better. Um, this is definitely, I've got it secured tight like that. So it's not really adjustable anymore. This one I think still is. So yeah, this one still kind of is. Jesters are kind of. I think that's all the way. There we go. Now we're all the way out at six, and that's way out there. I like to keep this one like at one. I'm trying to get better at the one or two finger. I'm not even looking at the camera, so this probably sucks like a lot because I didn't plan on doing any of this. Um, the tires, the stock tires have their weaknesses. They do get me around. They do get me where I need to go, and they have tackled three single tracks and a little motocross track, a little tiny practice area. You know, it wasn't anything super exciting, but for me it was. I had a blast out on it, 
and uh, I almost broke my ankle out there. So, uh, as far as injuries, I have not on wood. Luckily, I haven't sustained anything major. I have been hurt. I, I I've had some. I've had some times where I was, I was feeling it. I was hurting. So, um, I guess about it. Everything's super simple. The brake, drum brake, drum brake is super simple. I've had that torn apart, and it was easy for me to figure out. I didn't really have to um, look anything up. Getting it adjusted properly is probably another story. I would prefer the disc brake. Some people say they prefer the drum because then it won't bend on a trail. But I guess there could be there could be some validity to it. I haven't had any issues with that one bending. I'm not a hardcore rider by any means, and I'm not as aggressive out there as some because I suck. <laughs> so that's part of that. I will do an actual review on this thing, but I was out here and it just kind of. I'm I'm ADHD. I'm rambling. I'm surprised I'm still on this bike. Actually, I should be off somewhere else. Probably because I'm supposed to be off somewhere else. So this is kind of. I'm hyper focusing on this, I guess. But that's it. I think that's all I can really say about it. Gas mileage is about 80, 85, and it's it's a blast. <laughs> and it, it never doesn't start. You know, sometimes it doesn't really want to, but that's usually when I beat the shit out of it. It's got a gas gauge. Speedometers weigh the hell off. I have no idea what the top speed really is on it. Um, my girlfriend behind me said I was hitting about 65 the one day. And I'm 5'8"-ish, and uh, 210, 220 pounds. And I say 5'8"-ish because certain people that I work with that might see the video. But, you know, we're, I'm, I'm five, like 5'10", five 5'13", five or something like that. We'll just go with that. <laughs> if they see the video, we're not going to... There's a going argument that we don't need discussed if they catch this. So, I'm like 5'10". 15 or something and i'm still like 210 220 pounds regardless so height doesn't really matter um as far as the speed goes but as far as you know, being on the bike and as far as uh fitting the bike i think it's a great fit again i don't really have anything to reference it off of but i mean i am flat footed right now this is up on a hill a little bit, but when I stop at like lights or trails or whatever, this foot goes down nicely. I could probably get a taller bike and make it work and it'll be alright. But so short riders, this is a great bike. Tall, super tall riders, probably not so good for you. You know, but um you know. People who are somewhere between 5'8 and 5'15 are, uh, it, it's ideal for them. So, but I'm just going to end it there and then I'll make an actual review. I'll take notes so I don't ramble and wander 